And we're back with more RimWorld. And today, a little mob of misfits here are dealing with a mech drop. Because of course we are. There's just mech drops all the time, it seems. It's another center mech drop. I can't remember how many of these we've had, but it's been a lot. Ooh, Scott, that's, uh, yeah, your bed got a bit of a whack there. And you're immediately off to go to work. Yes, I can imagine you do want to go to work. That is, uh, that's a busy looking day you've got ahead of you. Uh, Zach is going to close this door here. Uh, we're going to have Ananasm close this door here. And then they're also going to go down here and close that door. This will seal this area off. And their only option to get through to us will be through this open door here, which uh, Bodil is about to open in a minute. So that should mean all of these ones in here will go out that direction, whatever they are. Hopefully, oh, that, there's not a lot of them. And I know center drops are weak, but if they're centipedes, that's going to be a real pain in the butt. If they're centipedes, nope, nope. Let's not worry about it. Okay, they're in the battery room. That is bad. We're going to need to get a squad together. Uh, everyone except Jerick. I think Jerick's on a bit of a... Yeah, they're having a little bit of a wobbler at the moment. They're a bit annoyed. So we'll get everyone up here. Uh, ooh, Alex is in that group. Alex, you get front and center. We're going to get you to berserk whatever comes out of that. Hopefully you can get them to start fighting with each other. Doesn't work very well with mechanoids, but it'll buy us some time. Okay, so that's that door closed. We'll lock that one. Oh. We're going to want to get a squad together over here to deal with whatever's in this room. So you guys go up there. Okay, I think... I think we're set. Okay, we just got to lock this door to make sure no one tries to... And that door. To make sure someone doesn't try and do something stupid like get into this room. There we go. Oh, wait. Close. Yeah, close. Whew. All right. Uh, Bodle's about to open that door. Yeah, I think we're ready to deal with this. Go! Uh, Zachary, get back up there. Okay, we got mostly pikemen. Pikemen and some lancers. Oh, lancers can one-shot you, so we're going to play it real safe with them. Uh, all of you go around at least a little bit further away. I want to get you far enough away that you hopefully don't get clipped by the lancer coming around the corner. Uh, over here, oh, God, uh, you. Uh, immediately berserk that one. And the rest of you, I want you to get you around the corner. Perfect. Then I want you to get in there. Right there. Okay. No, no, I think we're good. I think we have... Yeah. All right. Oh, animals. All right, animals are also going to the correct locations. Ooh, and it's a bit of a long line. Some people are shooting through each other that shouldn't, but... Nice. Uh, Zach, get back. Pull back your muppet. Dear Lord. You... Mm. Thanks for destroying the bed. It's okay. It's okay. We can replace it. We can rebuild it. And I think, yeah, bearing those two out there, they're the main threats, and all of them are leaving. I could just wonder some lancers in there. What happened to them? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. You, you stop attacking the batteries. Ah, oh, this is where you need melee people. Um, you. Do you have stun? Is pretty much the only good thing we've got going on. We've also got invisibility, I suppose. Invisibilize favored jeans. Have them melee attack down that pikeman. Have those three stand behind them. Perfect. Now have you all stand behind him, and you can shoot it. Oh, what happened over here? It is missing both its arms. That's um. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Keep up the good work. I think... I think we're golden for a bit. Okay, we just got to make sure none of our people go outside. Uh, let's make sure, yeah. There's one of them over here. K-Dad? Yeah, K-Dad, where are you heading? You're going to build a wall. You know what? That's fine. You keep building that wall, buddy. You keep building that wall. And, oh, you're attacking that statue. You know what? Just, just go in and finish this guy off. He's only a pikeman. Yep, that. You killed our statue, you muppet. Done, done, done. That actually worked out really nicely. I suppose we get everyone into the kill box now and we'll just wipe out the last of them. That was, that was actually quite handy. Thank you, Randy. Now we get to move in everyone. Nice. That should give us a really good cougar revenge. Oh, come on. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, Rachel. How much speed is that? 275? Oh, yeah, you injured the... Yep. Come on, just finish it off. Beautiful. You don't have to worry about it. And over here we have a... Hey, come on, guys, turn around. Come on back. Come on back. You know you want to. 
And that door is about to close in a minute. And when it does, they should all change their minds. Seriously, just come on. We, we have a whole day ahead of us. S stop stalling. Stop stalling. Can go back here and take your death like a mechanoid. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I love having just a high population of pawns. It makes things so much easier. Oh, looks like they heard the commotion and they're coming back for a, a little bit of a chat. That's problem solved. We, oh, great. We'll go out and kill that pikeman. I'm honestly, it's not worth the effort of waiting around with everyone to kill it inside the kill box. It's just the time it will take. So I think we'll send out a small hit squad and go kill it. The joy of having a wizard is we can get off the occasional stun. You stun him. Yep, and no, actually walk forward a little bit more. And we'll make sure that the moment they come out of that n next stun, we'll zap them again. No, no, they're still not dead, guys. Come on. Ow! Seriously, you had every opportunity and just... Oh, that was all in your favour and you some, somehow still managed to get shot. God damn it, guys. Let's hope that's nothing serious. No, someone almost lost a leg during this whole thing, but that, that's it. That's the worst that happened out of that. Some person lost, almost got knocked, reduced to one hit point on their leg due to a like, charge lance shot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, poor Rachel Matt. Rough day. Eh. Back to construction projects. We need to finish our great wall down the left hand side and then we need to finish the great wall, well build the great wall down the right hand side. We can get this done today, easy peasy. We have installed another mod because of course we have. Uh, we've got fixable mood debuffs and what it gives you is it gives you this down here where it tells you like this colonist here wants to be master of their pet. Uh, they must have actually acquired that pet rather recently because normally I find those. Uh, yep this person here, see? So we'll just click that to make sure they get their pet assigned to them. And there, that's that's gone. This tells me of the nudists that want to wear less clothing, which tough. People who are unhappy with bedrooms. Frederick Har, 29, greedy for impressive bedroom. Okay, Frederick and Jason Fenwick. What the? Why aren't you guys assigned out already? All right, all the ones we can fix have been fixed. Okay, except for the meditation spot thing, but we're not going to worry about that. Ooh, which reminds me, we have another quest. Sonico's Yeoman Ceremony. Um, yeah. Let's accept that right now, shall we? We don't actually... What we're holding out for is Sonico to get up to night and then we'll actually let them complete the ceremony. But in the meantime, we might as well, you know... Well... Get ourselves some Silinx. Never mind, they decided to have the bestowing ceremony over here. Um, I never built them a throne room. My bad. You know what? We'll just... Uh, we'll put the throne there. It's fine. We'll, we'll get them moved for the next ceremony. They'll eventually give up after a while, they get hungry or something. Ooh, party! Nice! We could do with a mood bonus. Please tell me it's going to be in this room. Is it going to be in this room? Ooh, or maybe it's going to be in our other one. Let's find out. Nope, they've decided to have the party over here because I left this table as a gathering spot. Damn it! Ooh, and a marriage is on! Okay. Excellent, Slupman and Desky. Well, Slupman and Desky, Perfect. I really hope your marriage is soon, though. That would be very good for us. And uh, once this party is over, we're getting rid of this as a gathering spot. We'll... Oh, we might have put a marriage ceremony spot over here somewhere as well. But let's let them get their party on. We, we have loads more walls to build today. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to merge these crop areas into one giant, glorious crop area. Uh, one second. I just want to make sure none of these are set to be replanted. We're going to be change this into a giant greenhouse and we want to make sure that none of these things are going to get replanted we're just going to harvest what's there and then the next crop will be all via sun lamps we have already roofed in this area except for one spot for some reason um hmm. don't know why we'll fix that but once this is finished we're going to wall this whole area in as well we're just going to finish out our, our, our greenhousing just so we're sorted and ah oh, god damn it yep yep i remember now and last time we were here, yeah, we left Pika's ceremony, guys. Yeah, Pika, trade, trade, and uh, no cows. Well, chickens, chickens, we'll take them. Sold off a bunch of junk and grabbed ourselves a psychic insanity lance, a side trainer for neural heat dump, a rooster, and a hen. Hopefully we can start breeding chickens. They're the second best uh, way of making meat, I suppose, if you want to call it that. But we really want cows. Cows are what's going to take us into the very late game. Oh, and if you're using the priority hall, don't just grab a whole area and priority hall it. Grab a few blocks like this. What will happen is if you just tell everyone to priority hall, everyone will come and they'll all specify one piece and grab it. This way, when I do it this way, they um they grab, like one person will come along and they'll grab all the surrounding pieces. They'll go for that one piece, but they'll grab surrounding ones. But if it's already booked out by someone else, they won't. So 
just, you know, a little smattering around like that should quickly get rid of all the problems you've got. Oh, and we'll do that same thing for the marble pieces like that. That should get rid of that. This here is going to be a, a very nice greenhouse. The reason being, this whole area can be has the correct soil for it. So what we can do is we can squeeze in, if we get rid of, say, the soil overlay, we can squeeze in an extra two sun lamps. One right there, and another one right there. Wait, I think it's going to be a little bit of overlap. One second. Nope, nope, we're good. So we can fit in eight sun lamps in this area and wall in the hole across the top. I really like finding newer uses for these designs. Once you have a, a limited space, you sort of become more adept at squeezing things in. But we do have a problem. We have a ambush. Scaria infected man hunting fen fennec foxes. Fennec foxes are attacking four of them. They're attacking this, this uh, one. Unfortunately, it's got Ortec in it, who happens to be a pacifist. Does that. Uh, non violent. So that, that also applies to animals. You won't even fight animals. Like, you're not a vegetarian. You eat meat, but you won't fight animals. That's just going to be annoying. Uh, we got to protect our chickens. And we've got to protect our people, of course. Where is the best place to make our stand? Maybe down here, a little bit of a choke point? We have been through this sort of thing. I'll, hey, guys. Move. Move. Come on. All of you. Damn. So slow. Wait a minute. How do we have so many roosters? Oh, we only have one hen. Oh, we bought another rooster before. Never, never mind. We have two roosters and one hen. They'll just have to share. Whatever. Okay, chickens, come on. Oh, come on. Seriously. If my chickens get killed by foxes, that would be... That would be kind of hilarious. I'd be annoyed, but it would definitely be hilarious. Okay. No. 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 Just... All right, then. Why did... What? What? I... I don't understand why they're skipping this way around. This... This is confusing me. We're going to send a couple of donkeys this direction, and hopefully that will... Something good. Uh, you. Yeah, we're gonna berserk pulse right there. Okay. You can probably start killing that one right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Only having one person to shoot, this makes this really awkward. I think I'm gonna send more people next time. We have managed to deal with all the uh, the nastiness that was going on in that uh, caravan battle. We won, no real major issues, and how is this going? Yeah, I think I think this turned out pretty damn good. Excellent. In fact, I think we can do something similar down here. We won't be able to fit in quite as many, but I think we can take advantage of a, a few of the places here to squeeze in maybe a couple more sun lamps. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, inspired recruitment. Yeah, that's wonderful, but the only person we have to potentially recruit is still recovering from smoke relief withdrawal. Also, we accidentally tore out one of their eyes. Well, spare rations did, but in, in, in spare rations defense... How? You already got ambushed, just, like, not five minutes ago. Oh, great, and it's Emily's exes. Serious? Oh, God. Right, there's six of them. This is not good. This is really bad. Uh, Ortec is a pacifist. That means Pika is the only one who can actually do any shooting. The animals are going to run away. The animals won't form a defensive line. Okay, 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 okay. We've got an insanity lance, so yes, yes, that's definitely a plus in our favor. Let me just double check some things here. The plan. Um, very simple. One, the animals won't work for us here. Uh, when you're out on the map or you're on enemy tiles, your animals just run away from human-style enemies, which is an annoyance. They don't run away on your own map, they just run away on remote maps, which is one of those weird little quirks you'd never be aware of, so you can't use them as animal blockers. So we basically are relying on just the two of these. We're going to get Ortec to pick up an Insanity Lance, uh, because that's probably all that's going to save our bacon on these ones. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, once Ortec's in position... Oh, I think I sold their shield belt. Oopsie. Um, what we'll do here is we will use our Insanity Lances quite liberally. I think, yeah, we take out the ranged ones. If we take out the ranged ones, I would much prefer that. Perfect. So while they're busy slapping that one to bits, perfect, we can get ready for the assault, and we do have Berserk Pulse. However, very short range. Hmm. Come on. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. Seriously? Gotta give it to that guy. Even with a peg leg, keeps limping his way forward. 
Uh, the problem we face is we don't want them getting in range. You know what? We'll give you a bit of a stun. Ineffective? Ineffective? What? Don't tell me. Psychically deaf. Yup. Yup. Oh, that's, uh... Can't use the insanity lance because they're incapable of violence. Well, you learn something new every day. However, what we can do is invisibilize them. And you know what? Oh, we don't have enough neural heat to do another one, so you're going to unfortunately get hit by them. That's fine. I don't mind if you get hit by them, as long as Pika Mula can st keep doing damage. Okay, so while those two are beating the snot out of each other, all we need to do, I think, is kill about one more. Oh, no, two more. Uh, where do you want to shoot? I think what we want you to shoot is probably... No, they're in cover. Shoot Cindy. Okay, or tech. Hmm. No, let me think for a moment. Who's the most dangerous? This one has a high rate of fire and they actually have a decent angle. Insanity Lance. Perfect. And then shoot that one because that one has the least cover. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, shoot whatever his name is. I think, I think we're golden. You know, Ortec, do us all a favor and drop that insanity lance. <laughs> well, learn something new. Insanity lance does not work with people who are, uh, you, know, and you can equip that, force equip the insanity lance. Yep. No, not you. Sorry, my bad. That went surprisingly well. Zero injuries, five enemies dead. Did cost us two in uh, an entire Insanity Lance, but you know what? To save the entire caravan, totally worth it. And is anyone just wounded? Nope, they're all dead. Uh, let's make sure West isn't even alive, though. All six of them died. A complete wipe. I think that sends a, a proper message to Emily's exes. Send more Emily's exes, I suppose, would be would be the message they got out of that one, because that seems to be their current plan. Well, I've been fiddling around with this. It turns out our wall's been finished. We finally have one side of our Great Wall completed. Excellent news. Well, but there's no rest for the wicked. Oh, we can maybe shrink that zone down a bit. We don't need quite so much granite over here anymore. Or we will need that granite is all the way over the side, which is going to be yeah, right here. Yep. This is going to be a hell of a construction project. But, at the end of this, we will feel far, far safer. Oh, God, great. Come. Fine, I'll move the tables. Give me a minute while we finish this off. We also have to put in doors and a few other things. This is going ahead quite nicely. There's a few gaps here and there in the wall where we schedule some tables or sarcophagus or stuff to be deconstructed, but I think we're good all the way to the end. Of course, there's a small problem, and that is these, uh, these enemies that have shown up. We've got 35 human raiders from this side, all from the Grey Bush Union. And then we have another bunch of 36 over this side, all from yeah, the Grey Bush Union. Now, they're smarter than your average bears, so what they'll do is avoid turrets, fields of fire, and notice some of your traps. This is one of the reasons I never put turrets in my killbox. If you had turrets in your killbox, they would avoid your killbox and never go near it. However, since we don't have turrets in our killbox, we can treat this just like a standard raid, pull everyone back inside, close the doors, open up the correct ones, and they should go walk right into it. But I think I haven't gone over this in a while, but here's what I do when I want to... Well, prepare for one of these raids. Grab a pawn, and then click this button up here. Mark all things on the map that are the same. And then it turns them all these things up here orange, and they're all my pawns. So you'll notice four of our pawns are out here. We'll have to make special care of them to make sure that they get back inside before this all kicks off. At the same time, we want to grab all of our animals, and we do have an animal safe zone. Let's see if I can sort of get it there. Uh, this colony... Yeah, here it is. Animal safe zone. You can see that's our orangey area inside the base. That's all open plains, and they're allowed to roam around in there. This means they do have access to food and... Oh, damn it. Yeah, i got to change some of it. But this generally gets them out of the way, but inside our walls, so they don't wander around and do something silly. Now, excuse me while I pull our colonists back inside. Our colonists also have their own area. Where is it? Uh, yeah. Was it? There's the colonist area, but there's the colonist safe zone. That brings them back inside and allows them to repair the walls on the outside, which, honestly, I should probably get rid of that. But this... Well, oh, damn it, we don't have a tab for that yet. Oh, God, this is going to take so long. <laughs> I should really start using the schedule policy up there. One second. And there we go. That moves all of our colonists back inside. They should literally drop whatever they are doing and start heading back. Yep, all of them are heading back this way. Uh, let's get prepped. That was a little bit 
hairier than anticipated. One of them managed to break through the doors down here. They chased someone, but it's okay. We managed to seal a few things off, get everyone out of the way. Nothing too crazy. Uh, they did pound on a door here or there, but they didn't actually destroy any. A few colonist zone changes, and I'm trying to keep eyes on the back of my head to make sure some of them don't do anything stupid. Uh, we'll keep that door open for now. Time to uh, heat up our kill box. I think we're going to get... Yeah, we'll get Slipman here to start the fires. Uh, we could do some more recruits. I mean, we've still got this massive gender imbalance and we need as many women as possible so that we can get as many wedding ceremonies as possible. Perfect. You can go equip your heavy SMG. Oh, just make sure that I've made the home zones correctly for this yet. Don't want anyone trying to run in there just yet. Nice. All right, so we'll get them uh, equipped, get everyone out of here, and then maybe change the zones so that no one tries to enter this kill particular area of the kill box. I do dislike waking everyone up before they've had a solid nap, but you know what? We do have to take care of these as they exit. Tomboy? Oh, seriously? Right now, while we're in the middle of something. Well, you know what? We've got a bunch of animals nearby that are going to have a one and chatter. They'll be on their way over, they're headed there now. Yeah, they'll probably get there in time. If they do, great. If they don't, you know what? We have a whole bunch of new recruits coming in, and maybe they won't be as, you know, addicted to smoke leaf. All right, let's get everyone set up. Uh, Alex, we'll keep you reasonably close to the front line so you can get off some berserk pulses. These are all ranged, so assuming they make it into the kill box, they should just stand around and get shot. All right, bring it on. Oh, great, auto-saving at just the right moment. Damn, a bunch of them have already passed out. What's your, uh, what are you looking like in terms of heat stroke? Heat stroke, serious, 50%. Well, it seems like it's not serious enough. Come on, just pass out already. We need some new recruits. Well, that's one group broken. Uh, oh, and that's the second group broken. Okay, good. they're going to start smashing the doors. Yeah, no, we're good on all those fronts. All right, let's start getting some prisoners. We're going to put ourselves a little prisoner area here with beds. We're going to have to... Oh, I turned this place into not a prisoner area. I was just going to lock the door so we couldn't get in there to drag people into prisoner beds, but the door's going to get destroyed by this muppet. We'll let the animals take care of that problem. We are going to come over here. We're going to have to try and control the temperature in there and mow down as many of these as we can while we're... Come on, yep, don't let any of them... Not letting them break any more doors. Perfect. Uh, I think we can cut down on the temperature in there. What's, what's it like inside? Ooh, a toasty 217. That will definitely make you a little bit uncomfortable. This should be relatively interesting. We've assigned out a lot of captures. Temperature in there is 90 degrees. That's 91, 90, dropping a bit. No, it's fine. Stabilized about 90. 90 should make sure they stay heat stroked and hopefully give us all the time we need to strip out every single woman in there. Oh, that fire is spreading a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll put some of that out just to make sure, but I think... I think we're going to end up with an awful, awful lot of female prisoners. Maybe we should get one guy, just so, you know, we can make, you know, leaving the toilet seat up jokes. But, on, yeah, pawns don't actually use bathrooms, so probably not really a good choice. Come on, come on, who's a medical emergency? Yeah, oh, yeah, fine. They, of course they're a medical emergency. They just came out of a hot box and they're suffering from extreme heat stroke. All right, we'll get the doctors to tend to them. Um, you know what? Yeah, bring everyone else back over here. Is that everyone? No, there's still a few more to go, but that, that was quite a successful heat stroking. You know what? Put it to last of the fires. No point risking this getting any further out of control. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was textbook. Oh my god, they're still going pretty deep. Come on, grab the last of them. What's the temperature like in there? 74. Okay, they've got them all. Just make it out of there before anyone else wakes up. The only people left are the males. I think we managed to nab all the females. Uh, there's... wait. How's there this many females left? Ah, uh, never mind. We got most of them. We got most of the females out and more than enough to even out our numbers. I think it's time we got some doctors in here. We are quickly tending to all of them. This time around, we're not messing about. We're going to use some herbal medicine to hopefully stop them from getting so many infections. And then I think, well, we're not even going to bother stripping them. The reason being, most of their gear is pretty harmless. I mean, tribal wear and a mask? Yeah. Keep it not going to protect you too much if you do decide to go psycho and we should probably put in a few more beds in here just to make sure we have enough bedrolls. We're going to pile them all into one room. I'd, uh, should we separate them out? Yeah, we'll put in the low risk or we'll put in the low resistance ones in here and the higher resistance ones can eat, live on meal paste. Transferring prisoners is actually a bit annoying. Uh, normally what I do is I just delete beds and then delete the bed of the one I want. For example, if we click on this one, reassign, ah, 
We send a switch to a sleeping spot. No, where is it? If I say, yeah, prioritize feeding, there's no way I can actually move them. So what I have to do is just delete their bed and make sure that we have another prisoner bed available and then immediately move them to the other bed. So plan is we find the ones with the least resistance, except for Tomboy. Tomboy is still recovering from an addiction. And then we'll take all of these. Well, we'll take about seven of them and put them in the, the nice quarters and the rest of them can live on meal paste until we're ready to recruit them properly. This could take a few minutes. Uh, let me just start moving them back and forth. We are slowly but surely dragging everyone into assigned prisoner quarters. This is all the lowest resistance ones down here. Ooh, berserk. Yeah, well, some of them are going to be a little bit annoyed. Uh, yeah, what with all the burns and stuff? Ooh, a burn on your eye. Ow. Well, we'll get some... Some of these air prisoners are not going to survive. Uh... You know what? Just uh, try to arrest that guy first, and we'll have you ignore everyone for the time being. Just, uh, come on, arrest him. Get him in there. Once he's in the room, then you can start shooting people. Actually, never mind. You can get back to work. Uh, I'm sure someone will come along and take care of Eagle at some point. Okay, are we almost done? Two more prisoners left in here. Come on, get the last of the transfers underway, and we'll be good. Oh, uh, our caravan has finally got back. I, I actually stalled them outside. I told them to stop outside because I didn't want them coming back in when the fight was happening, and then I forgot about them. This caravan's been forgotten about a lot. I'm sorry, guys. We'll get you back inside, and we're going to start breeding chickens. Chickens will actually multiply really quickly, so that might be a good way to get us over the hump, though. If we're going to breed chickens, we're going to need a lot of hay grass. Like, a lot. Uh, I think we're going to need at least one greenhouse full of hay grass, and then we're just going to cover a whole bunch of the outside land in it. Our luck is in, in that there is a trader over here. Actually, let's get rid of a whole bunch of this. I left in all the infections, just so you can see. Far less infections than last time. Okay, we didn't capture 20 people. We captured about 17 or something like that, so... How many prisoners did we get in the end? 17 humans. So 17 humans and we got far less infections. This whole put them here, triage them immediately, then move them. Yes, worked so much better. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of all of that. Also, a war merchant from the Kin League arrived just near the end of all of that. And they're right over here, which leads us to, well, this trading session with them. Because they're a war merchant, they'll buy weapons. And because of that, we're going to expand our home zone. So long as something is in your home zone, you can sell it. So let's put all of that in the home zone and we can get rid of all those annoying bows and arrows. Namely because they're just taking up space. We could sc uh, scrap some of them, but it's just not worth the effort. And our animals are currently hauling... Ooh, ooh we should probably priority haul that beer. All of our animals are hauling all of the corpses over here. This is actually... This is a little sneaky thing I like to do. I've set this up as the only place the colonists can't go. If you check the colonist area, they're not allowed in there. And I try and place it in a dead end area or hopefully somewhere where they won't walk by. So they're, they might walk by this direction, so it should keep them far enough away, hopefully. I should maybe wall that in a bit better. Oh, never mind. We'll worry about that later. But the animals are. So the animals take all the corpses there, and eventually I just get one of the pyromaniacs to come over with an incendiary cannon later on and set fire to it. Uh, we don't have anyone with bloodlust yet. And because we don't have anyone with bloodlust, we can't have someone just running an incinerator because they'll eventually just go berserk from seeing so many, you know, rotten corpses all the time. But... Yes, this trade over here. Uh, yes, the wonderful stuff. They have bears. I want bears, okay? Uh, just, yeah, give me all the bears. I, I want to I wanna raise an army of bears. I've been advised bears are very good, and I've been looking at the stats in them, and they actually look pretty amazing. Bar the animal filth. The animal filth is a bit of a problem, but as long as we keep them off the floors, it's fine. Their hunger rate is tiny. It's 0.56. That's nothing. I think chickens are about 0.56. Yeah, chickens are 0.56 hunger. So you could have one chicken or one bear. I mean, seriously, what, what's the question here? Okay, bears can't melee eggs, but, you know, I, I just want to raise an army of bears. I think it would be fun. Plus, you know, it was recommended in the comments. I looked into it and I'm like, yeah, they can haul, they can do all these things. True, there is a little bit of a problem where, you know, they require a lot of maintenance, but but that's fine. We'll, we can manage that. I just like to try it while we're here anyway. I don't know why I feel like I should have to make excuses for that. I'm pretty sure everyone's like, yeah, cool, army of bears, let's go for it. This was the, these are the best form of garbage disposal. They show up and you get to sell off all this junk. I mean, we could have scrapped some of this stuff for metal, but it's not worth the effort. And three grizzly bears, two females, one male. Oh yeah, we're about to go the grizzly route. Okay, you, uh, just uh, haul that meal back to base. I don't want you, you eating here. And it's time to finish off this wall. Actually, do we even have time? <laughs> It's just there's been so many raids. There's what? There was uh, the the drop pod raid, then there was two ambushes, and then this. I mean, how many days has it been? It's been three days. It's three days going on four. What the hell? What? Like, I think the last episode, we got through a whole season or like 20 days or something like this. This one, we haven't even gone, what? We've got four days? Four? Oh my god. Okay, let's, let's try and hopefully get a little bit of something done. We're going to speed this along, clean up the messes, and start recruitment. Oh, 
yeah, we can start using word of trust. Um, should we start using it now? Oh, all of them are still pretty banged up. You know what? We'll use a few words of trust just to show you why we've been collecting all those silent neuroformers, which reminds me, Pika's Predator Ceremony is available, so uh, let's accept that now. Perfect. Now, where do we put one of those pyromaniacs? Is, is one of you awake? Oh, goddamn, you're put to sleep. It's just more convenient to use the pyromaniacs to start the fire. While that is going on, I'm going to show you why we've been farming so many single silent levels, because a single silent level is not that useful, except if you apply it as a word of trust. Now, word of trust here... The only thing this is really good for is recruitment, and normally it doesn't matter. Like, you, you normally are not that, aim you only need one of them, but we need an awful lot because we're trying to reduce the resistance on a lot of people. Their current resistance is 25.1, and then boom, we just knocked 25 resistance off them in one hit. One. Just boom. That's incredible. If, like, just look at all of these. We can zap that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and actually that one we can double zap. We can keep zapping all of these and slowly but surely reducing the resistance into the absolute floor. This makes recruitment so much faster. And imagine if we had every one of the team with level 1 Silink. There's about a 1 in 6 chance they end up getting word of trust. True, they'll have to spend a bunch of time meditating, but, you know, that's the cost and the price you have to pay. Which reminds me, we've got about 5 more Silinks inbound, is it? Uh, how much gear you got on you? Yep, 5 more, five more Neuroformers. Nice. I love the way Frederick, Frederick just popped in. He's like, you know what? I'll play some music while you're here. Yep, yep. This is totally a sauna. Maybe you should, maybe you should finish up, Frederick. Good idea. Just, just before things get maybe a little bit too toasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, one other thing. If you're trying to do repairs or build stuff back up again after a raid, uh, one important thing to remember is your pawns will prioritize things in the order they were laid. So I had to go down here and tell them to stop building the wall. Otherwise, they would have prioritized the wall and not some of these little internal construction projects I queued up on the side. And also, why is no one building that? Guys, seriously, get over here. Construct that. I want that fixed where our kill box is back to normal. Oh, and there's another set of Neuroformers. Perfect. Five more people can nab those. We gained, well, five people with side levels. We got Solar Pinhole, Ship Chunks, uh, Burden, Burden, and Pain Block. Unfortunately, all sucky. We were not hoping for those, obviously. And uh, let me do a little bit more work on the prisoners here, but I think in we're just about out of time. We were just carrying along, minding our own business, and a rooster got struck by lightning. Um, okay, at least the hen's alive. That's, that's good to know. Jesus Christ. Okay then. Uh, oh, I should make sure no eggs end up in here. We gotta make sure that the only thing, all the eggs get left in a nice place where they won't end up getting, you know, killed by the temperature. Hmm, actually in here might be a good idea. We summoned in a ceremony for Sonico just to get them that uh, a couple of silings, but it went here. Uh, it, went, it seems even though we had our throne room over here, for level one they don't really care because, well, yeah, it's the throne room, they don't give a damn, it's, uh, you're only a yeoman. But somehow this guy hung around long enough to pass out from extreme malnutrition. Okay, um, thanks for the silings, I suppose. If I had known that would work, I probably just wouldn't have buttered all that fire. I just let you starve to death. Someone will be along to give you some food in a minute, and hopefully you won't die. How is everyone else doing? You're probably a little bit hungry, you know, they've been here for a while. Oh, and we should start moving people into these rooms. We actually have enough rooms we can start moving people in. And we did put in a little bit of temperature regulation. What are we at now? 20 degrees in there? Yeah, that's pretty good. That means the rooms are... Oh, wow. We might have to put in some uh, heat exchangers in the rooms to help get the temperature across. But oh, that's going to be a complete refit. No, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just start moving people in. Okay, that's a bunch of them assigned out. Uh, a little bit of an apology to Frederick Hartman there. Unfortunately, you lost your leg. We, uh, we, we thought it might be an idea to try and tame a bear. Turns out it didn't work. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, I suppose. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. You're 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 not dead. We'll, we'll get you another leg at some point. Also, we found some underground gold. Now, how's our wall looking? Our wall is just about complete. One last chunk to go in. Finally. I, I really think we could have got the whole wall finished today if it wasn't for, well, we dealt with four attacks. I mean, Randy was just throwing everything at us. But once we get those final two in, we can really start exploiting that, just exploiting this map like crazy. The thing is, there is plenty of mineral patches, like all of these patches of iron we've got to dig into. Also, there's jade, there's silver, there's steel, uh, there's even, what's it? Yeah, I think there's some gold around here as well. We have plenty, plenty of resources. We are going to be swimming in this stuff. And once we have it sealed in here, we won't have to worry about enemies coming in every so often and destroying our mines or our moisture pumps. Yes, we're so close. I think today was not the worst day we could have had. 
True, we, the, true, the attack slowed us all down, but we did get a fair bit of construction on those walls are just huge. We still, of course, have not started on one of the quests. What is it? Uh, the the Great Monument. We still have 18 days to do that one, but I think we can get these walls finished. How much stone do we have left? I never even checked. 33,300 granite blocks. I think we can finish those walls and then we'll definitely be able to grind up enough rocks to finish them off. If you look in here, yeah, we've definitely got lots of rock chunks and if we select that, let's see. Yeah, we got plenty of granite chunks out there and how many marble chunks? Yeah, we got loads of marble chunks. It, we're going to have to start drilling them out of the ground now. We're just mining drills because we've nearly strip mined everything. Though I do want to remove all these chunks. It just it seems to help with late game lag. Uh, same with steel chunks. We want to scoop those all up as well. So every so often we go around, we select them all and we set them all to haul. There's only about 90 of them left. We've, we've been doing a good job. We want to keep all the amount of mass on the map as minimal as possible to hopefully try and speed things up. Also, I think the more we pave things over, the less plants that could grow, it might actually help out as well. But nope, I'm waffling on again. Anyway, I... Uh, Hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.